We have more news from Europe. The Brits are electing their municipal councils. These are local elections, but they're being seen as a referendum on Boris Johnson. Voters will have their say on the party gate scandal. So far, the British Prime Minister has managed to shake off all criticism, but this election could turn things around. And going by one survey, his Conservative Party is staring at an embarrassing defeat, perhaps their worst ever. Here's a report. This is an election that could define the future of British politics. Voters across the United Kingdom are electing their local representatives. Over 4,000 council seats are up for grabs. And it is not looking good for Boris Johnson. His Conservative Party could lose over 500 seats. A survey shows the Labour Party winning 3,500 seats, a gain of 800. The Tories could be reduced to less than 980 seats. If this projection holds, this could be the worst showing for the Conservatives ever. Ahead of the polling, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson tried to contain some of the damage. He promised to do something about the rising inflation, but refused to provide any short-term relief. I totally understand why people uh, are, are feeling the, the, the pressures caused particularly uh, by the, uh, the cost of energy that's feeding through into, into food and, and just about everything else, and you, and you can see it everywhere. So. Uh, the most impo important thing, and we, we do think it'll, it'll, it'll abate, we do think it'll come down, when? but I, I can't give you the answer to that, but we think in the medium term it will, it will certainly come down. But what we need to do, get people through this, just as we got people through COVID, being as, as compassionate, as ingenious as, as we can be, help think of all the ways we can, we can, we can help without, you know, we've got to remember that we only have limited resources of taxpayers' money, so we have to be sensible about how we do it. Johnson's political rival, Keir Starmer, is attacking him. A few days ago, he got an endorsement of former Prime Minister Tony Blair. The Labour leader stepped out for a final round of campaigning. He hammered the Conservatives over the rising cost of living. What we need to do, I think, is to focus on the issue in hand, which is the cost of living, because as we go across the region, we go across the country, talking to people on their doorsteps, everybody is talking about the fact they can't pay their bills. But inflation is just one of the concerns. It isn't enough to say sorry. The Partygate scandal is hurting Boris Johnson more. And we must learn. The voters are not buying the British Prime Minister's defence. A polling agency conducted a survey. This is what it found. 78% of Britons polled say Johnson lied about the lockdown parties. Conservative candidates themselves admit Boris Johnson could have lost the trust of the voters. Not at the moment. He's got to rebuild trust. He, I know he's got to do that. You know, he's got to come up with some way, you know, which I don't put it beyond him. I really don't that he'll do one of those speeches that he occasionally comes up with. <laughs> Johnson did make that speech. Just hours before polling began, he addressed the Ukrainian parliament virtually. He pledged more aid to Ukraine. The opposition has accused him of electioneering. Johnson continues to roll with every punch that is thrown at him. He has faced repeated calls for resignation since the Partygate scandal broke. But Johnson has refused to relent. Now British voters will pronounce their verdict on his record and decide the future of Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.